Hey there guys, and welcome to another Borderlands 2 video. This video is going to be a little bit special because the farm that I'm going to be showing you helps you with two different things at the same exact time. As far as I know, this is the fastest way in the game to farm Torg tokens and the fastest way to farm experience in the game. The first thing you want to do is head over to the beatdown in Mr. Torque's Campaign of Carnage DLC and run over to Pyro Pete's bar. Once you're in this area, you're actually completely safe and you can actually save and quit and it'll put you right back in the bar every time. And this area is really nice too because it has all the vending machines you need, it has a Torque token vending machine, it has a repeatable quest, and it also has Pyro Pete in the basement which you can farm over and over. Alright, so first up let me talk about the experience portion of this farm and why it is so good. Now, I'm actually max level in this video so I'm not gaining any experience that you can see. I went from about level 68 or 69 to almost max level just doing this farm, and it didn't take very long at all. In fact, one of my friends actually told me that it only took them about 2-3 to three hours to go all the way from level 61 to max level just doing this farm. So I definitely think it's one of the best power leveling spots in the game, if not the best power leveling spot in the game. And of course, with the more friends you have, the faster it can go. As for the token portion of this farm, you actually gain 20 tokens each time you complete the repeatable quest, and another 5-10 to 10 tokens drop from the enemies each time you clear this area. So on the low side, I would say around 25 tokens drop every 1-2 to two minutes depending on how fast you are, and this adds up pretty quickly. It actually only takes 613 tokens to buy a Legendary from the Torque vending machine. And I haven't done the math here, but you can tell that it doesn't take you very long to buy a Legendary if you farm tokens in this way. Of course, you're probably going to want to use those 613 tokens to buy a max level unkimmed Herald from the Torque vending machine, but I'll talk a little bit about that later. As for the actual method of this farm, the first thing you want to do is obviously grab the quest. Then you can run down the stairways and sit in the doorway and kill all the mobs from this doorway. This way you can rebuy any ammo from the ammo vendor if you run out, and the quest won't reset if you run back up the stairs. To efficiently kill all the enemies here, I'm actually using three different legendaries. The North Fleet Rocket Launcher, the Sham Shield, and Logan's Pistol. However, only the North Fleet is necessary to do this. You can do it without the other two legendaries. Um, it just might take a little bit longer, or it might take a little bit more money. But without the North Fleet, I don't think this is the best way to farm experience. However, I still think it's the best way to farm tokens regardless. Alright, so the North Fleet is so essential because if you don't know what it does by now, it basically just kills everything on the screen. It has this crazy AoE effect with lots of orbs and lots of projectiles that shoot everywhere. And this AoE is so good because it actually damages the enemies through the walls. It has such a large radius that it still hurts the enemies even behind the walls. And it usually one to two shots enemies. This is basically why I'm able to sit in the doorway and just shoot the North Fleet from the doorway and still kill everything in this bar area without actually having to run behind the bar and run to the second level. The second legendary is the Sham Shield, which like I said earlier isn't necessary, however it does speed things up quite a bit and does save you a lot of money in the end. The reason behind this is because the Sham Shield actually has a really high chance to absorb ammo, and this includes the North Fleet rocket ammo that you shoot out. What I kind of like to do is shoot at the bar area right in front of the doorway, and this will not only damage the enemies in the back rooms and stuff, but it will also be close enough so that I'll absorb the rocket ammo. Whenever you see the sparks kind of fly across the screen, you know that I'm close enough to the North Fleet AoE to be affected by it, and this usually means that I am absorbing rocket ammo, but at the same time I'm never going to take damage from it because it's not close enough to hurt me. Using this combination of the North Fleet plus the Sham Shield, you can effectively have infinite rocket launcher ammo. The third legendary that I sometimes use is Logan's Gun. And this legendary isn't even needed, however it does make things a little bit easier for you in the long run. Whenever you shoot Logan's Gun, it actually has a two-part explosion effect, and the second part of the explosion actually counts as a rocket. So when you're standing next to it and it explodes, it actually will absorb rocket ammo. This way, when you combine Logan's Gun with the Sham Shield, you can actually regenerate any rocket ammo that you're missing. If you aren't able to get your hands on a sham shield, you can still buy ammo. It just kind of gets rather expensive after a while. I think it costs around half a million at level 72 for a set of rockets, and that can definitely add up over time. However, it's definitely still manageable as I didn't have a sham shield the first times I did this farm. So to actually complete the quest, it wants you to go around and kill all the badasses in the bar. However, usually that will just happen randomly as you're firing your North Fleet into the wall. When you do complete the quest, all you have to do is simply run up the stairs, turn in the quest, pick up the new repeatable quest, and repeat this process over and over. I usually wait until I've completed this quest about three times or so, and then I'll usually run through the bar and clean up any stragglers that remain and pick up all the random tokens that have dropped off the enemies. Like I said earlier, you're probably going to want to save up all these tokens to get an Unkimmed Herald, which is a fantastic weapon. In fact, it's probably my second most used weapon in the game behind the Sandhawk. I am going to be making a video showcasing the Unkimmed Herald, which I actually made at the exact same time as making this video. However, I just wanted to split them up so I didn't cover too much in one video. But when that video is up, I'll have an annotation in this video so you guys can click on that and check that video out if you want. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Be sure to leave me a like and comment letting me know what you guys think, or you can subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands 2 videos. And thanks for watching.